Since 1923, the Veterans Affairs Puget Sound Healthcare System has served our nation's veterans living in the Pacific Northwest, providing world-class patient care as part of the largest healthcare network in the country. Spanning a 44-acre site, the Healthcare System's Seattle Division is situated atop Beacon Hill, offering a commanding view of the surrounding area, including downtown Seattle and Mount Rainier. While majestic, this site is located in a region deemed to pose the highest risk for seismic activity by the United States Geological Survey. In response to this threat, the VA has enlisted the aid of Walsh Construction to seismically strengthen nearly 220,000 square feet of Building 100, the main hospital facility at the Seattle Division of VA Puget Sound. Originally built in 1985, this massive structure consists of two nearly identical seven-story towers which are capped by a mechanical floor and joined by a central core of equal height. Seismically strengthening a structure of this magnitude is an ambitious undertaking, complicated by the critical function it serves and its needs to remain fully operational during construction. To accomplish this, a phased approach was followed, whereby construction activity was isolated from the patient population following a predefined sequence. At any one time, construction was confined to a relatively small zone, so the important work of providing patient care to our veterans could continue without interruption. At the onset of each phase, Walsh deployed powerful, filtered vents to create negative air pressure within the construction zone. This technique prevents construction dust and airborne contaminants from polluting the patient population. A number of other strict procedures were followed to ensure construction activity remained isolated. This included the sealing of construction debris prior to its removal from the construction zone, as well as predefined pathways for men and material when moving through the facility. Once a safe construction zone was established, demolition could begin to expose the existing braces which were scheduled for removal. This demolition was kept limited, affecting only the areas necessary to perform the seismic retrofit. To facilitate for the removal of existing braces, areas of fireproofing were stripped away to expose cut points, concrete was removed to uncover brace joints, and with rigging in place, Blow torches were used to cut through the obsolete bracing, both at floor level and atop the confined interstitial space above. Once freed from the structure, braces were lowered onto carts and then cut into manageable sections. Each section was then prepped for removal from the facility by way of a freight elevator. With the old bracing removed, preparations could be made for the installation of the new buckling restraint braces, or BRBs, which are designed to allow for controlled movement of the structure during a seismic event. To create a pathway for the massive BRBs to be brought into the building, exterior windows were temporarily removed. Then, from a secure location, a series of delicate crane picks were performed. The BRBs were flown through window openings, where they were received and ultimately lowered atop heavy-duty carts, which were then wheeled to their designated installation point. Once rigged, BRBs were hoisted into their final resting position and welded in place, both at floor level and atop the interstitial space above. A total of 168 BRBs of various size were installed throughout the structure. Massive horizontal BRBs were also installed in the interstitial space above the seventh floor to tie each tower to the central core. This ensures that both towers and core move together, not independently during a seismic event. The installation of horizontal BRBs was especially challenging given limited height clearances in the interstitial space, which is further obstructed by the many mechanical systems that crisscross the area. And because the interstitial floors aren't load-bearing, the horizontal BRBs had to be suspended from the building's I-beams in order to set and weld them in place. A final but critical component of the retrofit operation was the installation of non-structural seismic bracing. These braces are designed to protect the building's vast mechanical systems, air ducts, network cables, oxygen lines, water, and wastewater piping against a seismic event. As on any Walsh job site, ensuring both public safety and the safety of our tradesmen is our highest priority. It is this commitment to safety that enables Walsh to perform through careful planning and replanning 
the most challenging construction assignments. Safely completing this vital seismic remediation within a fully operational, mission-critical hospital facility is our way of serving those who have so selflessly served us all, our nation's veterans and the protectors of our freedom.